Hello, welcome, and thank you for stopping by. My name is Maximilian Guarini. I'm a PhD student at the University of Bristol. I'm here today because I want to talk to you about visual politics and why I think it matters. Which words come to mind when you see this image? How does it make you feel? This is, of course, a photograph taken on September 11th, 2001. Images such as these can be extremely powerful and can elicit strong emotions. But of course, images are often accompanied by text. And together, they can be even more powerful and even more effective at communicating a message. How are these images working with text to communicate something to you? Text and image in isolation will of course tell us something, but taken together, they can be even more powerful and can amplify a message and make it a more convincing one. In this sense, images can almost function as evidence. In these cases, image and text are telling us that this was an act of war. Although images have always been important in communication, I believe that modern technology has made them even more relevant and significant today. I believe this is the case for at least two reasons. The first of these is connected to how easily we can create, see and spread images and other type of information online through our smartphones for example. This has helped to create an abundance of information which sometimes perhaps can feel a little bit overwhelming. The second reason, which follows directly from this, is that in this environment where we have an abundance of information, images can often function as cognitive shortcuts. And by this, I mean that images often help us to make quick decisions and judgments about which news stories interest us, and which news stories don't. But also, more importantly, about whether we believe a news story. My research will look at how text and image together were used in the coverage of the Labour Party leadership of Jeremy Corbyn. My research questions are aimed at better understanding the ways in which he was constructed as a threat and a danger to the UK. And how these narratives were both reproduced but also how they were challenged through social media. I will analyze how his political persona was linked through the use of imagery to three contemporary threats to the UK. Terrorism, communism, and anti-Semitism. Voters often look at party leaders to decide how to vote, so their image is extremely important. If one leader is seen as unelectable, incompetent or unpatriotic, then some people will be more likely to vote for the other one. In many ways, my research addresses questions of power the power to determine what is acceptable and what isn't, who is electable and who isn't, and therefore ultimately what is possible and what isn't. Being more aware of the ability of images to help convince us of particular arguments or messages can help us to become more critical 
known meat consumption. Given how much information we are exposed to, the quality and truthfulness of this information can sometimes be in doubt. The more tools we have at our disposal to critically engage with this information, the better. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to talking to you.